can you really tell the difference between 4k 8k 16k etc in this video we're gonna find out and so let's get into it <laughs> I've often wondered this a lot and it's really something that fascinates me because from my research you can tell a little bit of the difference but you can't tell enough to really justify buying anything more than a 4k tv but that's what we're going to investigate in this video and so we're going to start off by talking about the difference in terms of resolution between each one 4k 8k etc now the difference between 4k 8k 16k etc is the amount of pixels in the image so 4k is twice the pixels or twice the image quality of full HD and 8K is twice the image quality or twice the pixels of 4K. And so the only real difference you can tell between 4K and 8K as to my knowledge is if you're watching native 8K and you're up really close to the screen because in that way you can't see the exact pixels like you could on 4K TVs, on 4K screens. Um, so it's very minimal differences unless you're watching native 8K content and you're very close to the screen. And so can you really tell the difference between the two from a average viewing distance? Not really. And so that's why I'm wondering why we keep scaling up in these resolutions if you can't really decipher between them that much. So the question is, should I really care when it comes to the difference between 4K and 8K? And the answer is really, not really. Unless the picture quality gets even more insane, there's really no point in getting an 8K TV if you already have a 4K TV. From my research, there has been a lot of research done on this topic of whether or not you can see the difference between 4K and 8K. And from their um, conclusions, you can see the difference, the human eye can, but ever so slightly. And again, that comes back to my point is the closer you are, the better you'll see it. But as of right now, in today's world, it is not worth upgrading to an 8K TV if you already have a 4K TV. Again, because the, the difference is very slight and because you only see it if you sit closer. But if you're watching it on a very large screen, you're obviously going to want to sit farther back, which will make the picture quality look almost like it does on 4K. And so that is my answer to the question is, should you really care about the difference between 4K and 8K? The answer is, as of right now, not really. And so now the conversation becomes what happens next after we move on from 8K. Do we keep scaling up 16K, 32K, 64K? What happens next? Because eventually we'll get to a point where we can't really tell the difference between um, different resolutions such as between 32K, 64K, etc. Of course, it'll always look sharper, but we can't always completely tell the difference. Of course, until actual like real life image happens in such as like video games or something for example um, then it'll look really nice but in terms of actual live action movies or tv shows when you're watching it on television 16k versus 32k versus 64k who knows if we'll get that far but if we do that's where the conversation um, starts to arise of how far is too far and it, do we ever stop is the question really and so that's what i've wanted to focus on in this video is if the eye could really tell the difference between 4K, 8K, etc. And the answer, as I said, is yes, slightly, but not noticeable enough that we need to keep scaling up resolutions. Of course, until it comes to video games, then we can get real life simulations and stuff like that. Obviously, that would look amazing in really, really high definition. But in terms of, again, live action movies and live TV shows, again, we can't really tell the difference that much between 4K and 8K. And so if we keep scaling up, it's going to become just a money grab at that point. But that's just my opinion. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Let me know down in the comments below whether or not you guys have an 8K or a 4K TV. And if you guys really do agree with this or if you guys think that you can really tell the difference between 4K and 8K and if it is worth getting an 8K TV in today's world, let me know down in the comments below. But for now, thank you for watching. Please do go out and have a great day. And we shall see you in the next one.